In this video, we're going to take a look at ratios with applications from cosmetology. The process of mixing hair color and developer typically requires a 1 to 1, a 1 to 1 and a half, or a 1 to 2 ratio of color to developer. Hair color requires multiple steps, including the application of a mixture that includes the color and a product that allows the color to change the color of the hair, which is known as the developer or oxidizer. Different products require different mixing ratios. The most common ratio is equal parts of hair color to developer, which means we're using a one to one ratio. For example, if two ounces of color or pigment is used to dye hair, then an equal a part of developer, which would mean in this case two ounces of developer is needed. This two ounces of pigment or hair color to two ounces of developer expressed as a fraction would be two over two. If we divide top and bottom by two or reduce this fraction, it reduces to one to one and expressed as a ratio is indicated here with the colon in between the two numbers. If more hair color is needed, say for a long head of hair, and we're using a one to one ratio, how much developer is needed if six ounces of hair color is used? Well, since it's a one to one, it would be an equal amount of developer, which in this example would require six ounces of developer to the six ounces of hair color. Expressing this example as a fraction, we would end up with six over six, which reduces to one over one, and the equivalent ratio one to one. Sometimes, such as in high lift applications, a higher ratio of developer to color is used. This means you may see ratios of one to one and a half or one to two color to developer. There are brands which require one to two, which means one part hair color to two parts developer. The one to two ratio is often seen in high lift hair lightening products. Let's look at an example of a product that contains 1.4 ounces of color and has a mix ratio of one to two. This means you will need double or two times the amount of developer as that of the color. And here's why. If we take the ratio of one to two and express it as a fraction, one over two, that fraction, when set equal to an equivalent fraction, where we already know what the numerator of the second fraction is going to be, the amount of color in this particular product, 1.4 ounces, we would need twice as much as the numerator for the amount of developer. So we're going to take 2 times 1.4, which results in a 2.8 ounces of developer. Looking at the 1 to 1 and a half ratio, if you were to mix one part water to 1.5 parts drink mix, you would say that it was in a ratio of one to one and a half. That means if you add one ounce of water, you would need 1.5 ounces of drink mix. What if we double the amount of water? How much drink mix is needed to maintain the one to one and a half ratio? Well, if we double the amount of water to two ounces, we'd need three ounces of drink mix. Why three ounces of drink mix with the two ounces of water? Let's take a look at what's going on. First, we're going to express the ratio one to one and a half as a fraction. Next, we will set that fraction equal to the original example of one ounce water to 1.5 ounce drink mix. So all we've replaced essentially is the ounces water and ounces drink mix. We still have a one to one and a half. And then we're going to 
set it equal to an equivalent fraction that is uh, double that amount. To maintain equality in fractions, to get an equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same value. So we are doubling the amount of water for an equivalent fraction, multiplying the numerator by 2. Likewise, we need to multiply the denominator by 2. Multiplying 2 times 1.5 gives us 3 ounces of drink mix. And there's where we can see where the 3 ounces of drink mix is coming from when we double the amount of water. What if we choose to use 3 ounces of water? How much drink mix is needed with the 1 to 1 and a half ratio? Again, if we set up equivalent fractions that need the denominator using the strategy of multiplying the numerator by 3 for the equivalent fraction. We also would need to multiply the denominator by 3, meaning we are going to multiply 3 times 1.5 to give us a 4.5 ounces of drink mix to ensure we have maintained the ratio of 1 to 1 and a half. There is another way that we can solve for the missing denominator value, and it is to take half again as much of the numerator to determine the denominator. In other words, if we take half of 3, and we can get that one of two ways. We can take 3 divided by 2, which gives us 1.5 or 3 times a half, that's half of 3, it gives us 1.5. And we add this half to our original numerator value. We would have 3 plus the half of 3, 1.5, which results in 4.5. Taking this one step further, what if we want 6 ounces of water? how much drink mix is needed, we can solve this using the proportion method. What did we do to the numerator? For an equivalent fraction, it was multiplied by 6. Likewise, the denominator needs to be multiplied by 6, shown here. 6 times 1.5, our ratio, ends up with 9 ounces of drink mix. Otherwise, we can use the second method just shown in the last slide, add half of the numerator to the numerator to find the denominator. So half of 6 is 3 added to 6 for the 1 and a half. There's our 1 part plus a half part gives us the 9 ounces of drink mix required when having 6 ounces of water. Let's turn now to hair color examples where in this first slide the hair color being used needs to be mixed with the developer on a 1 to 1 and a half ratio. If you use 30 milliliters of color, what amount of developer will be needed? For the solution, we can set up a proportion to solve for the missing amount of developer and using the strategy of equivalent fractions 1 times what gives us 30? It is 30, so likewise we multiply the denominator by 30. 30 times 1.5 results in 45 milliliters of developer. Or the second method of having the numerator, half of 30 is 15. That's our half added to the whole part, which is 30 in this example, 30 plus half results in the 45 milliliters of developer with the 30 millimeters of color to maintain the 1 to 1 and a half. In this next example, one part permanent hair color with one and a half parts developer is the ratio for this particular product. What if 100 milliliters of the hair color is needed? How much developers required? Setting up 
the proportion, we would have our ratio of 1 to 1 and a half. Given we're using 100 milliliters of color, we will multiply the numerator by 100 and likewise we'll multiply our denominator in our ratio by 100. 100 times 1.5 results in 150 milliliters of developer. Or, if you prefer the halving method, half of the numerator, half of 100, 100 divided by 2 is 50, added to the numerator for the one whole part plus the half results in 150 milliliters of developer with the given 100 milliliters of hair color. In this last example, we're given if a half ounce of color is needed, how much developer is required for the correct 1 to 1 and a half ratio. Using the proportion method, we have our 1 to 1 and a half ratio set equal to our known amount of color over unknown amount of developer. What did we do to the numerator for an equivalent fraction? It's multiplied by 1 fourth. So likewise, we would multiply the denominator by 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 1 and a half. If you prefer, the equivalent of 1 fourth is 0.25, it's decimal equivalency, and multiplying the ratio in the denominator of 1.5 results in 0.375 ounces, or if you stayed fraction-wise or an equivalent, you'd have 3 eighths ounce of developer. Using the second method, where we take half of the numerator, one half of one fourth to multiply fractions, you multiply numerators, one times one is one, multiply denominators, two times four is eight, gives us our half, but then we need to add that to our whole part, which is one fourth, one fourth plus our one eighth, half of that. To add fractions together, we have to have common denominator. Now we could convert these into decimals if we want, but one fourth can easily be converted to eighths by multiplying top and bottom by two. Two times one is two, two times four is eight. So there's our one eighth, only now as an equivalent two eighths added to that half, so we have our one and a half method, results in, add your numerators, two plus one is three, over the common denominator of eight, there's our three eighths of developer, or again the decimal equivalency. If you take the numerator, three, and divide it by eight, you have 0.375 ounces.